Go on. Go on. <laughs> the Enduro Circus has packed up all their bags on a short flight and we now find ourselves here in the heart of Tasmania. The EWS is here again in Derby, Tasmania. We've been here two years ago, and will there be new champions? It's going to be a gruelling race with 2,000 metres of ascent and a 44 kilometre course. Since the EWS came here two years ago, Derby has grown as a town. Blue Derby has so much to offer. We've got parking, toilets, showers, and a bike wash. Come on. We're at the hub here, and just having a nice little Coca-Cola is Tom Wilson. Tom. Are you excited for this race? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> now, Tasmania prides itself on its world-renowned fishing, but now it's firmly on the map with the amazing biking it's got to offer here in Derby. Did you get the catch, mate? Oh, we got a big one. You got it? We got her in. Do you reckon we can put her on the barbie? One question for Inez is, um, what have you done differently this off-season? I have a new bike. Yeah, so I was setting up the new bike that was really uh, interesting for me. New components on the bike? Um, yeah, we have uh, new wheels. So it's a 29er now. First oh, okay. time on the 29er. Oh, she's big wheels. Oh, so it's nice, you know, big girl, big wheels. <laughs> big girl, big wheels. <laughs> how, was it, how was it last weekend on all the road to road It's like, nice. Bumpy stuff, like on the small root bumpy stuff. Sweet. And on uphills, it's really nice. Yeah. Like it's a lot of uphill traction. Save like, a bit of energy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like hard. Yeah. <laughs> so you've switched to Enduro this season. What have you done differently over the off season? What switch? Uh, carbo load. Yeah, just donuts all the time. Uh, no, more just like uh, white rice. Just always white, white bread. <laughs> uh, I stuck to the white carbs, like white Pizza. potatoes, white potatoes, white rice, white bread. white carrots. Uh, well, like turnips. Turnips. Yeah. Yeah. No. Maybe mainly just carbo loaded. I think that's. You've not done any training, no. Uh, just eating. Just mainly eating. Well, like enduro is a lot of work, so I don't really want to burn myself out. So. It is a lot of effort in there. Yeah. So I just figured out. Is there anything you have done differently this off season? This off season, well, I actually haven't had done any training. <laughs> I've not really oh. had a training program. I've just just ridden my bike, had fun. <laughs> yeah, I think just after cross country I needed a bit of break from like structured Too training. Structure. So like mm. just riding my bike and enjoying it and like feel ready now though to get back into some actual training. And the first round you finished twelfth, which is yeah. sick. For open women's we yeah, happy with that? A solid start, but again like I want to be a bit higher up than that. Yeah. Think, well, Maybe you'll have to start, start yeah. training then. Yeah, I think that was... <laughs> yeah, I think that was <laughs> no, I, I think there's a bit of time for Madeira. Yeah. Get, get some efforts in there. So you heard it here first, she's going to start training for Madeira. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of coffee being consumed this week as we wait for the race to kick off. And I think the rider's favourite at the moment is the flat bike. Which bike do you go for? I bought the 29er Pivot Firebird. And why did you go for that? Tested quite a few 29ers over off season. And out of like five or six I tested, I just felt straight away comfortable on it. So I thought it was the best, best option for me. What do you reckon to put in a 650B wheel in the back and then 29er up front like Martin's just done last weekend? It seems to work for that fair level. Would you be testing that when you get home? Nah. <laughs> so how did round one EWS go for you? Uh, good. I said I'd be happy with like, coming away with a top 30 just to start off, but um, like, I really wanted a top 20. But yeah, I was sitting around 10th after the first couple of stages and then just made a few little mistakes. But 21st, wasn't it? Yeah, I finished up 21st. So Mega. That, really. Solid start, solid. Looking forward to Tasmania. You had a good result here two years ago, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think at top 15 two years ago, yeah. A couple of like top three, top five stage results as well. So looking forward to this one. Mega. Zoom in on that, that smile. Is <laughs> <laughs> that Robin Bloody Wolner? Dad, take your glasses off. You don't look cool. <laughs> so, we'd like to know, what have you done differently this off-season? 
Yeah. Uh, Oh, I, I rolled less. <laughs> <laughs> he slept less. Because <laughs> he's had a bit. Less. I had almost I enjoyed training more. I got a question for you. Who's your favourite teammate? Ah, oh, Lewis Buchanan for sure. <laughs> why, are you li why are you lying? No one likes a liar. <laughs> oh, you look nice. The big bad wolf. 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 No, the last time you did something for the first time. One lad scored me once <laughs> out of the blue, and that was shocking. And I guess that was the first time and the last time. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yep, there you go. There we go. Oh, you look good in zoomed in, Dan. Mm. Oh. I wouldn't think that, though. Really. Maybe we could do like a dun dun dun. <laughs> So are you racing for EWS this season? I am. Nice. Mm. And uh, you're getting more support as well? Yes. I don't have a mechanic, but I have like more support. So, And it's pretty cool. I can decide what bike I want to ride. So. Um, I'm going to sit down because I'm getting tired. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try 29er next because I've had an opportunity to try that. Uh, it's quite a lot of travel for a world journey. So I think. But I am going to do more road and stuff and like be a bit more specific. Like cycling wise. But yeah, because we do cycle. We do cycle at mm. the end of the day, but I had to build a foundation first before I became an elite athlete. What's the first thing you do when you get back from an EWS? Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> What's the first thing you do when you get home from an EWS then? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you probably go down. Let's see my girlfriend. Oh. All right. Just see. <laughs> Just see her. So we're here with yeah. the Garrig twins, and we've got a few questions for you. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Go on. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you did something for the first time? For the first time. Uh, yeah. This morning we saw <laughs> our very first venomous snake in. <gasps> Yes. No way, we're really? Very fine. The tiger snake. What? What? One what? of the deadliest snakes in the world. <laughs> Did you? What were you doing? Like walking or something? Or? Walking just on the stage. Yeah. Trap walking. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> and then definitely did not move again. Had a shocker. <gasps> oh my god! Were you close to it? Yeah, yeah close enough. It's like there, kinda. Like there. Like there. Yeah, like there. <laughs> <laughs> did you just slither, slither towards yeah, you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so this weekend are you thinking of staying on track and not yeah, going off yeah, track in the bushes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what about if you need the toilet? No, I'm going on the loo. Really <laughs> <laughs> you don't care. Squat, straight down. Do <laughs> <laughs> not care less. Do what you have road. to do. Stay on the trail. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything that you change this off season for this coming season? Hmm. Uh, we tried to get along better. <laughs> <laughs> you must have got that done. It's working. <laughs> yeah, it's working because he had a new coach and he gave us, like, you know, you do this, that, and this. So we didn't have to argue all the time okay. about our schedule. <laughs> so, do you both follow the same training plan yeah. then? Yeah. You always train together? Always. Pretty much. Ah. And, and who goes better in the intervals? I think Carol really bosses it in the gym. Yeah. Like, her bench press is pretty impressive. She couldn't do bench press with her broken hand. And uh, I did, up a barbell I did and all the time, <laughs> but she's almost at the same level. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the heart of the event. 